we've been reporting. Experts say a lack of athletic trainers at many high schools is putting these athletes at risk. Tonight we look into why some schools don't have one. Dave Gibson loves his district, Felicity Franklin Local Schools. As superintendent for the last six years, he understands the benefits and challenges of a rural community. He loves athletic trainers. His daughter Sarah is an athletic trainer at Division III Greensboro College in North Carolina. He understands their importance and their value, but Felicity Franklin doesn't have an athletic trainer. It's several layers, I think. Gibson says the first is resources. The latest census showed the population of Felicity was 818 in 2010. The closest major hospital is more than 35 miles away. Research from the Corey Stringer Institute found that medical or university facilities fund 90% of athletic trainers in the state of Ohio. None of the major medical providers in Cincinnati provide services for Felicity Franklin like they do for more urban schools. Uh, I think it's a challenge for the providers geographically and then again that's passed on to us to find that same resource. Another layer is money. Felicity Franklin gets about 74% of their revenue from the state. Economics are always a cornerstone, but it's not just that. It is uh, an availability of that resource uh, to us, uh, whatever source we, we try to find it at. He isn't alone. Nationally, 37% of high schools have a full-time athletic trainer. 49% of Ohio high schools have a full-time athletic trainer. It leaves a lot of time on the playing fields unwatched by medical experts. We are the first line of defense as far as um, sporting events. We are that healthcare professional. We are that first responder. Um, but underneath that, we are injury prevention, um, injury care. We're taping. We're rehabbing injuries. We tried speaking to other athletic directors who didn't have athletic trainers. They either didn't respond to multiple calls and emails or cited liability for why they wouldn't go on camera with us. OHSAA Commissioner Jerry Snodgrass says he understands. They're left holding the bag and not a medical bag. They're, they're really in a tough situation. I think it just all comes down to education and money, but... <laughs> Even though Gibson doesn't have an athletic trainer, he talked to us because he felt it was important to show us the challenges a small school district faces. There's a, always a laundry list in public schools of service you want to provide. Uh, you know, we want it, every experience to be safe and, and healthy and a great experience. So, yeah, we would love to have that athletic support. All right, it's time to.